Hello everyone, uh, today I will show you how to make the banana dessert um, In Vietnamese we call it chè chuối um, This is the very special type of dessert in Vietnam But uh, my husband really like it and I like it as well so, And it's very very simple to make So I will make a video for today So to make a chè chuối, first you need a banana Banana is chuối in Vietnamese You can find this one in Tang Phe in um, Chinatown And this one, okay. Uh, normally, one pack like this is for two person. Uh, I like taro as well, so I also put uh, a little taro inside. But you don't need to do it. I do it just because of my, I like it, so I put it. Okay. And the third one is this one. In Vietnamese, we call it bok khoai, but in uh, English, it means manio vermicelli. Uh, this is. Every time you just need a little like this, it's enough for two percent. You will put a little water inside. Just put the water inside like this and leave it aside. We will check that later. The next one I use is the tapioca. This is the tapioca bowl. You can put more as you want. Because you know, I like it, so I already put a lot. You can put it less. This is also tapioca. Like it's another type of good color. So I like it, so it's look better. And uh, five ml of coconut milk. You can find this one in the supermarket as well. And sugar okay so now let's start we will start with treating the banana we will put all the banana in the bowl like this the, the banana when you buy it in the supermarket is will be frozen you leave it outside until it's soft okay and you put it in the bowl like this and then you add three three spoon of sugar And you mix as well. Be careful and don't destroy the banana as well because it's soft now. Just mix a little. Make sure the sugar go around. You can reach all the banana. We do it in advance so we we don't have to cook it too long on the with the coconut. Because when you cook the coconut for so long, this will release the oil taste and it stays really not nice. So I use I choose to do this in advance so the banana will get the sugar. Alright. And now we will boil a little water. Okay. I forgot to show you the brand of the tapioca. It's just in case you can you can find it easier. And this is the tapioca burn color. And this one will be the one with color. And another one is tapioca burn. This is only white color. Remember choose the little one like this. If you choose the big one, it's really hard to cook. Just the small one, okay? Now we wait for the water to boil. The water is boiling now, so uh, we can start to put the tapioca inside. Remember, never put the tapioca in when the water is too cold because the 
the tapioca will be diluted with the water if the water is cold so now it's boiling already it's very good time so I'll put the tapioca inside like this see and now the color tapioca as well now we use the spoon to move them a bit to make sure it's not stick to the bottom and this one I've already put it in f the water for 15 minutes so now I put it also together with the tapioca to cook them see the tapioca is I will show you the tapioca is still, uh, still very white only have a little transparent layer outside so I will continue cook it until the whole thing becomes transparent. Please uh, notice that you will need to use the spoon to move them sometime to make sure it not stick to the bottom of the pan. Okay. Okay. After ten to fifteen minutes cooking, the tapioca become more transparent. I will show you. You see, it become more transparent. There is only the little inside. It's still hot, but it's okay like this. Uh, I will stop them now. Okay, the tapioca is ready now. So now we will put the water. Put cold water there, very strong. And we start to pour the tapioca inside the cold water. I use your spoon to move them a bit. This one the water. You know why? You have to put the cold water to make sure that the tapioca bone will not stick together. So I will show you closer. The tapioca bone is very very nice. Oops. Very beautiful. Mm, it's ready. Okay, now I will take another pan. I put inside one and a half liter of water, and I add I will add half a cup of uh, coconut milk. Half cup. And I will wait. So the, the water and the coconut is boiling right now. So now I will add the tapioca inside
just tearing them away. So if we don't stick to each other. And then I will put my tarot. Remember that uh, you don't need to put this. I put this because I like it. So it's not in the recipe, okay? So now the water is boiled again. Now we'll remove the, the white pepper on the top. I really like to put taro in the jejui because the taro and the coconut milk can release a very good smell for the jejui. Now it's already boiled. I will add one cup of sugar here. One cup. Stirring them. Now mix them well. And then now I will put the banana Now I will cook them for around 15 minutes more and continue to remove the white purple if I see. It's 15 minutes already. I still continue to remove the white purple on the top. I taste them and I feel it's not so sweet like I want. So I will add another half cup of sugar. Maybe not. Just one fourth first. At this time, you can put the sugar and taste them again as you want. Because somebody will like very sweet, somebody will like not so sweet. Okay, and then. Now is the time to put the rest of the coconut milk inside. To shake them well. Don't forget to shake them or you just get the water. <laughs> Done. Okay, so now you just wait until it boils again. You taste it and you add more sugar or stop if you feel it. it's already sweet like you want. And then the chachui is ready for you to taste. Okay, so now the chachui is ready. You can serve it on the little bowl like this with a little peanut on the top and you can start to enjoy it with your family uh, if you don't finish it this time you can keep them in the fridge for around three days 
um, after you remove them from the fridge you better warm it up with the microwave because the tapioca will become a little bit hot when it's getting very cold so enjoy and thank you for watching my video see you next time bye